rub it in her. Oh my god, that was so scary. I can't believe I'm not single. <laughs> Channel. This is Ready Cupcakes. Uh, today we're gonna do a morning skin routine. I know that I was going to. I'm sorry. I'm very irritated. I woke up today and I promoted my only, my brand new OnlyFans page. God damn it, Ed! Shut up. Sorry. I promoted my OnlyFans page on Snapchat, and literally like 10 minutes later, I was banned on Snapchat. Not only have I now been banned on Twitter twice, but I've also been banned on Instagram and now Snapchat. Shut up, get down. So now that we're on that topic, make sure that you guys go and buy my Band and Bougie merch. <laughs> Might as well capitalize off of it, right? All right, so today I'm going to be doing a skincare routine. It's going to be amazing. And my best friend, a poet's muse, comes in today from New York. And he's gonna be here from Wednesday till Sunday. So we're gonna have some really, really good videos for you. Um, we're gonna do a Chinese mukbang. We're gonna do a seafood mukbang for my channel. We're gonna do a vlog um, with, my, with my boyfriend that was in my last video. Video. So it should be a lot of fun a lot of stuff in store for you guys. Also today. I am 26 days sober I have not smoked a cigarette in a month and a half and I have not uh, drank um, in, in about a month now, so pretty awesome by the way I'm letting you know that I'm doing this in my kitchen and I'm not doing this in my bathroom because <laughs> In my bathroom is like no lighting and it makes me look like I'm cooking crystal meth in like a photographer's studio. This is a little hit. All right, so what I use to wash my face, I use Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser Foaming Formula by Neutrogena. Um, it's a very gentle cleanser. I really, really like it. You know, um, I used to, I used to exfoliate all the time, like constantly. But that's really like not good for your face. Like, um. Even if you have oily skin like me, it's really not good for your face. So then what I do is I wet my Clarisonic that I got from Sephora. It's pretty expensive, but honestly, in my personal opinion, it's worth it. So I wet that. I put like two pumps onto it, okay? And then I'm just going like this. So last night my man came over and we obviously like ended up doing or whatever and like he was on top of me and I was like, Oh my God, get me pregnant. He was like, what? And I was like, what? He was like, you're really crazy. I think that we should break up. And I was like, no, please. Like I wanted to get pregnant. At least like have your baby like before this happens. And he was like, yeah, no, I don't think this is gonna work out. Like, you know, I just really feel like we would have like really ugly babies. And you know, I don't really want to be parading around with you with these ugly hideous children. And I was like, damn. And so he was like, all right, well, I know it's midnight, but I'm gonna leave because I'm really embarrassed. Um, you know, please, please don't let anyone know that we're together and, you know, just let everyone know that we broke up on your social media account. And I was like, okay, that's cool. No, I'm just kidding. None of that happened. I mean, I did tell him to get me pregnant during sex because, like, I was, like, really into it or whatever. Um, but all of that other stuff actually didn't happen. <laughs> the fuck? I made that whole thing up, which is probably abundantly obvious. Also, I'm really breaking out. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> um, he did, you know, have a little accident. I wanna get and release the hose into the tunnel. I wanna see my man. And we were kind of freaking out, and I really didn't want to like tell you guys. And like this morning, I started my period. I was like, "Whoa! Yes! 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 My womb is impenetrable, bitch." <laughs> I'm just gonna wash this off. <sighs> I'm just gonna use like a paper towel to uh, dry this, just kind of dry, just like this. Okay, now what I do is I take a little cotton ball, okay? And I use this oil eliminating astringent uh, by Neutrogena, it's called Clear Pour. Um, it works pretty good at like cleaning off any excess oil, any excess makeup, I really like it. I wouldn't recommend this if you have dry skin. If you have dry skin, 
I would recommend something a little bit more gentle um, just because it will dry your skin out and you're, you know, you're gonna look weird. You're gonna look like, you know, the, the side of a suede shoe. I just put on really gently and you can see like I'm kind of breaking out or whatever. I always break out around like my chin and my mouth because like that's like a hormonal thing. And it's always like right before my period. You know, sometimes I feel like I have excess testosterone or something and I feel like Maybe that's why I consider myself like gender fluid where I can't like really readily identify identi uh, identify with like a gender and like maybe like I get it around there because I do have too much testosterone but then I'm like no that's weird but then I'm like maybe I should go get it checked out and then I'm like whatever you know. So now I'm just, oh my god! Okay Brady, it's just water, like relax. So now I'm just gonna kind of like let it dry. Um, This stuff does like slightly like tingle it's not like a burn or anything it's not it's not anything crazy but it definitely tingles it definitely tingles um but i do like it it's something that's more on the inexpensive side if you guys don't want to splurge too much for like a decent and stringent i i want to say it was like six bucks or something like that it really wasn't that bad as far as like cleansers go i don't really find the point in splurging on a really expensive cleanser just because it goes on your face for such a short amount of time that it's not a big deal I find that you know investing your money into things like serums or moisturizers or astringents I guess you could but you know moisturizers and sunscreens and serums and things like that I find like it's a little bit more important just because it stays on your skin all day or all night so now what I do um I actually really like this stuff so far um it's by Dr. Dennis Gross it's C plus Collagen. I don't know if you guys can see that. Please focus. Please focus. Please focus. Please focus. Hello? Yes! We did it! So it's by Dr. Dennis Gross. C plus collagen. It's a vitamin C serum. I believe that vitamin C is, is very important for your skin. Um, this is supposed to brighten and firm. For the daytime, I only put one pump like this. And this is what it looks like. I just put one pump in. You really don't need that much. Um, when it comes to the nighttime, I put like a pump and a half just because you know, that's that's the time that your skin is like rejuvenating and you know while you sleep that's when your skin rejuvenates itself and you know it makes you look better or whatever so I just feel like putting a little bit of extra, extra more product on your face um, while you sleep is is important. I just kind of smooth that and then I put it under my eyes like all of that whatever. I know I look like a crackhead and like I drink like 16 monster energy drinks every morning and smoke 16 cigarettes while I'm pregnant but that's my business right. By the way uh we are getting our roots done. I know this looks absolutely terrible honey. This looks terrible like I don't know what is going on here but playlist is coming up. I really don't want to spend $250 to get my roots done and then you know within a month I got to spend another $250 to get them done again right before playlist. I'd rather just you know hash this out and deal with it um you know until playlist comes around and then you know I can I can do this or whatever. I like to use this moisturizer by Origins. It's called Original Skin and it is a matte moisturizer hold on this is my origins um it's called original skin and it's a matte like a mattifying moisturizer i have like i said i have really oily skin so i need things that are going to make me uh, look a little bit more, more matte and you know whatever it's not bad um it was like 30 bucks something like that it was like 30 35 dollars it's okay it's not like the best if you have dry skin i wouldn't use this either like i really wouldn't use this just because it will kind of dry you out. And even for me, somebody that does have like, I'm more on the oily side, but I do have a little bit of combination as well, but I'm more on the oily side. Even for me, like this is still a little too drying. It's not that great. Um, but it does, it does work for mattifying, even though I do find that through the day, I still do need to like, you know, dab my makeup. I mean, then again, I wear 20 pounds of Marc Jacobs foundation, so. You know, when in Rome. That doesn't apply. So I just put some on my hands um, like this. And then I just rub it in, rub it in. <sighs> oh my God, that was so scary. I can't believe I'm not single. <laughs> That's insane. I wake up in the mirror sometimes and I'll be like, God damn. I look fucked up. It's okay though, because I got good pussy. 
Where are you going? Nowhere. Now with this good ass pussy. Now! Get your ass down! <sighs> Whatever. And then I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna bring it down to my neck. Always make sure, and I know this, like, everybody knows this, but just make sure, like, when you are putting on your moisturizer and your serums, make sure that you're putting it on your neck as well. There's nothing worse than like, you know, an, a, a woman that has like a really wrinkle-free face and then her neck is fucked up. What are you doing? What? I still cannot believe I got banned on Snapchat. You know what the funny thing is, is, you know, last time I went to New York, you know, in 2018, I was literally like wasted and I was taking all these these videos and these pictures and it was me like you know showing my nipples and i was just you know i was going crazy i was going crazy on snapchat i didn't get banned for that but i got banned for promoting my only fans account that's hilarious to me <laughs> it must really suck to like sit there and feel the need to stalk all of my social media and just wait for me to like have one slip up. Just one slip up so that way you can just infiltrate my life and feel better about your fat ass sitting on the couch not looking like me even like this in this form right now. I bet right now even with all your makeup on and all the shit you got going on, I bet that I still look better than you right now because you're a hater and you're gross. Do something with your life. So I know I probably shouldn't be like <laughs> touching food like while I'm doing skincare, but like this is delicious. <laughs> I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet. And I do my meal preps. And I've been super into fitness lately. And honestly, this shit is so good. It's like a thin um, bagel. And it has low fat cream cheese and capers and red onions and smoked salmon. And it is literally. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it is literally like so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, honey. There's this. There. Uh, there's a stuff by Dr. Jart uh, called Cisa Pear or Kika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This is what it looks like. Wow. Oh, honey, get a job. You make way too much noise in here for somebody that doesn't pay no damn bills. So I have a lot of redness on my skin, as you can see. My skin is very naturally red. And so what I like to do um, is after I put on a moisturizer, I do this and it takes down some of the redness. That way I won't have to use like a whole bunch of concealer and stuff underneath my foundation. I wear enough makeup as it is. I don't need the extra, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on after my moisturizer. I believe this is like 30 bucks from Sephora. Um, by the way, I will put all the products that I use, I will uh, put a link um, down there in the description. So that way if you guys wanna purchase any of these things or try any thing, these things, then you can. You wanna put like a moderate amount. This is what it looks like, because green kind of cancels out red. So because I have long ass ratchet ass nails, I get like, a, you know, a dabble. Or is it a dabble, a dapple? A dabble, a dabble. A dabble, I don't know. A dabble, no, okay. This is what it looks like, and it does go on very thick, so like, prepare yourself, you know? Fucking war paint, man. Yeah! So then I just go like this. I will show you a an alternative to an SPF that I had used for years, for years, and I really, um, like it still till this day, although I will say with the type of makeup that I use, um, it does, the makeup looks a little weird after some hours, so maybe if you use like a BB cream or something, you know. This is the stuff that I used to use before I started using this stuff by Dr. Jart. Um, this is just a cheap like drugstore brand, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. Um, I got it in 70. Honestly, I heard that anything above 60 is a waste of time and money. I don't know if that is true, whatever, but I really liked it. I liked how it went on, whatever. Um, so obviously after this, I'm going to do my makeup. So what I do after this is I put on it's by Hourglass. It's called Mineral Veil Primer. Um, this is honestly one of the best yet most expensive primers out there. Um, 
I mean, there are some good ones that aren't as expensive as this. I mean, I think this was this like bottle was like 50 bucks. And I think the biggest one is like 75 and the sm the travel size is like a whopping $25. So if you're looking for like an alternative, Smashbox is pretty good. Um photo finish um, they have some other good ones, but I would go with Smashbox Photo Finish. I'll put that uh, in the description as well. So then I shake this up. You want to shake this up because this can get like a little watery. Do, do, do. And I just put like one pump in there. And you just rub it on your face so you can be prettier. Um... And then I just kind of let it soak in there. Okay, guys, this is my daytime skincare video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know this is probably a, like, super short video, but, like, whatever. Make sure that you go follow me on Instagram, Cupcakes underscore. Make sure that you go follow my Twitter, BraddyPR. And make sure that you go follow my live channel and go subscribe there, younow.com slash Cupcakes, or you can download the app. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you.